All right, life is busy. We all know that. And with eight-year-old triplets, I've had to find ways to be more organized to save time and money. What I've learned, little hacks go a long way. So all week, we're sharing some tips to hopefully make life a little easier at home for you and your family. Today, we tackle laundry, starting with those little things that can be a big mess, socks. Hi. Hi. How was your day? Good. Good. You want to have a snack? Yeah. Take off your shoes. It's shoes off around the house. That's how I grew up. So I've taught my kids to do the same. And socks seem to be left everywhere around our home. So like most families, you probably end up with a whole bunch of socks and end up with many that are mismatched. So Tess's tip, pretty simple, use laundry bags. You know, those mesh ones usually used for delicate clothing. I picked up these zippered laundry bags at the dollar store. Even better, three came in a pack. So once you have a bag for each family member to differentiate whose bag is whose, super simple, get colored ribbon and tie each one and you're all set. Instead of just leaving socks where they take them off, teach the kids to place their dirty socks in their own laundry bags. So now, when it's laundry time, each kid has a bag of socks, and there's no more trying to figure out whose is who, and there's no more lost socks. Our laundry is all clean, and we have everything separated. So each kid will get to fold their own laundry. Yours is white, and yours is green. All right, get folding, guys. Zoe likes to help mom with the laundry and fold. As for Cooper, mm, not so much. We lay down, put it on top. This part is hard. I know. Then, and we just fold, see? And the boys won't get each other's socks mixed up too, which is nice. And that was her full of socks. With extra helping hands and our mesh laundry bag sock system, laundry is a little quicker and less painful. Carry them all up. Good job. All right, so we found those mesh laundry bags at Dollar Tree. Again, three for a dollar. They're not the greatest of quality. They're from the dollar store, but they do, they work they do just fair. fine. And I have a trick for Scotty. Uh-oh. Okay, what? so it's easy to find your underwear. You can use those mesh bags. Mm -hmm. Same system if you've got kids or for adults who may lose their underwear. You can use your <laughs> underwear and put them in the bag. And it does the same thing. Right. Because, like, the boys, like, you know, I have to label, like, you label their, <laughs> they put their mm -hmm. names on them this way. Way, they're always separated. <laughs> I put my name in mine too, See? just in case. <laughs> just in case. <laughs> but if it gets confusing at your house, then that's really a problem. I know it. Huh? <laughs> right? Then we got some other things to cover. Yeah. I didn't want to say we that, but. Yeah. but yeah, right. so excited because there's always little tricks, and a lot of these are from fellow moms who help me out and give me their tips. Sometimes um, we get them on Pinterest. There's tons yeah. of there, but let me know about maybe what you do at home. Coming up in our nine o'clock hour. Going to school, it's a pain, right? Getting the kids ready, getting the kids out the door, everyone's running late. Tips on how to make uh, laundry in terms of clothes ready for school. Ooh, okay. There's a little system that I do that involves drawers. <laughs> Not those kinds. Oh. Like <laughs> designating <laughs> your drawers. So that's all this coming up at Monday 8 This is my drawer. Like that? <laughs> Something this similar. Is my Tuesday Something drawer. See? You're getting the hang of it. But, Mom, I only have four drawers. You know what? These tips will apply for adults like you, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Tess. That's a great idea. I'm going to the dollar store. It's happening see? today. Tina? <laughs>